Greetings dear viewer and welcome to episode 6 in my Great Guitar Build Off Scratch Build Entry for 2022. Now at the end of my previous video I'd said that I was going to carry on working on the neck, angling the headstock, cutting out the neck profile and attaching a headstock veneer. And that is when I realised I would have to press pause on the neck and start work on the guitar body. So I had wanted to get the headstock veneer out of this quilted maple which is going to make up the top of the guitar but I realised that once this has all been prepared and jointed and the body cut out it isn't going to leave me a huge amount to play with to get the uh, headstock veneer out of it and obviously I didn't want to start taking a chunk out of the maple to make the veneer and then find out that I didn't have enough left for the body so therefore the only real solution is to start the body so for the main part of the body, I'm using this mahogany. It's fractionally under 50 millimeters, which is far too thick. But I am going to uh, cut out the shape and sort the thickness out later. And there is why I avoid using the router table. So in light of the uh, mess the router's made of that, I'm gonna finish off with the spindle sander. Thanks to the spindle sander, I have been able to uh, rescue the body from the nasty tear out. I've managed to clean up all the tear out from the front. And obviously I'm going to have to do a fair amount of manual sanding to tidy the edges up. It's time to do something about the thickness of the body. I'm 
going to use some of the veneer that I used in the neck on the body between the mahogany and the maple. You can see that the veneers split a bit but that uh, won't be an issue once it's uh, glued up. If that's not enough clamps, I don't know what is. Be back later. Okay, that's all right. I'll just take a, a sharp knife and trim the uh, excess veneer. It doesn't have to be uh, too perfect because I'll uh, I'll tidy it up. Uh, once the uh, maple top's on. Yeah, that'll work nicely. Uh, it's time to joint the top. And there we are. Cool. Let's get it glued up. Okay, the moment of truth. It's nice and flat. Oh, I like that. Ready to glue the top up. Right, here we go. So line it up with the marks I've made previously. Clamp spare, what a waste. That's been left overnight. Let's see what we've got. Are we ready? There we go. Right, so I shall uh, just trim away some of the excess on the bandsaw 
before finally routing it to shape. You've seen enough band sawing for one episode, so uh, we'll skip that bit. See you in a minute. So I've got my palm router with a bottom bearing bit in, the workpiece and an air pressure clamp. So this is liable to get a bit noisy when I turn the compressor on. So uh, bear with me. Here we go. Not going anywhere. And there we go, a little bit of sanding and that uh, might not look too bad. But that is all I need out of the body for now. I shall lay that aside because if you cast your mind back to the beginning of the episode, the only reason we were doing it was to make sure that I had enough of the uh, maple to make a uh, headstock veneer. and I just have enough to do that. So with that, I think we'll call it a day there. Next time, I shall return to working on the neck, and I do hope you'll join me. Please, goodbye. <laughs>